Venera D, Russian, Venera D pronounced v -N -R -D, is a proposed Russian space mission to Venus that would include an orbiter and a lander to be launched in 2026 or 2031. The orbiter's prime objective is to perform radar remote sensing observations with the use of a powerful radar. A lander, based on the Venera design, is also planned, capable of operating for a long duration 24 hours on the planet's surface. The D in Venera D stands for Dolgoživyushaya, which means long-lasting. In Russian, Venera D will be the first Venus probe launched by the Russian Federation. The earlier Venera probes were launched by the former Soviet Union. Venera D will serve as the flagship for a new generation of Russian-built Venus probes, culminating with a lander capable of withstanding the harsh Venerian environment for more than the one and a half hours logged by the Soviet probes. The surface of Venus experiences average temperatures of 462 degrees Celsius 864 Fahrenheit, crushing 90 bar pressures, and corroding clouds of carbon dioxide laced with sulfuric acid. Venera D would be launched with either a Proton or Angara A5 rocket. Topic. History In 2003, Venera D was proposed to the Russian Academy of Sciences for its wish list of scientific projects to be included into the Federal Space Program in 2006 to 2015. During the formulation of the mission concept in 2004, the launch of Venera D was expected in 2013 and its landing on the surface of Venus in 2014. In its original conception, it had a large orbiter, sub-satellite, two balloons, two small landers, and a large, long-lived lander, 24 hours. By 2011, the mission had been pushed back to 2018, and scaled back to an orbiter with a subsatellite orbiter, and a single lander with an expected three-hour operation time. By the beginning of 2011, the Venera D project entered Phase A preliminary design stage of development. Following the loss of the Phobos Grunt spacecraft in November 2011 and resulting delays in all Russian planetary projects with the exception of ExoMars, a joint effort with the European Space Agency, the implementation of the project was again delayed to no earlier than 2026. Topic. Status Lavochkin Association are leading the effort in the development of the mission concept architecture. It may include instruments from NASA. As of 2018, the second phase of the science activities between NASA and the Russian Space Research Institute ICI, is currently underway with a focus on refining the science concepts, and the orbiter and lander mission architecture, as well as a detailed examination of the types of aerial platforms that could address key Venus science in SITU. It is anticipated that additional workshops will be held as the mission concept develops. From the standpoint of total mass delivered to Venus, the best launch opportunities occur in 2026 and 2031. Topic. Goals The mission has an emphasis on the atmospheric superrotation, the geological processes that have formed and modified the surface, the mineralogical and elemental composition of surface materials, and the chemical processes related to the interaction of the surface and the atmosphere. The orbiter's goals are Study of the dynamics and nature of superrotation, radiative balance, and the nature of the greenhouse effect. Characterize the thermal structure of the atmosphere, winds, thermal tides, and solar locked structures. Measure the composition of the atmosphere, study the clouds, their structure, composition, microphysics, and chemistry. Investigate the upper atmosphere, ionosphere, electrical activity, magnetosphere, and the gas escape rate. If Lander's goals are Perform chemical analysis of surface materials and study the elemental composition of the surface, including radiogenic elements. Study of interaction between the surface and the atmosphere. Investigate the structure and chemical composition of the atmosphere down to the surface, including the abundances and isotopic ratios of the trace and noble gases. 
perform direct chemical analysis of the cloud aerosols. Characterize the geology of local landforms at different scales. Topic. Notional science instruments To achieve the mission's science goals, the team is assessing the following instruments for the orbiter. PFSVD Fourier Transform Spectrometer, 250-2000 cm 1 lambda equals 5 to 45 micrometers, DN equals 1 cm 1. UV mapping spectrometer, 190 to 490 nanometers, delta equals 0.3 nanometers. UM radiometer, millimeter wave radiometer, Ka, V and W bands. UVIR imaging spectrometer, Venus. Monitoring camera. Solar and star occultation spectrometer, SSOE. Infrared heterodyne spectrometer, IVOLGA. Radio Science 1 Orbiter to Ground, 2 Frequency Occultation in S and X Bands Radio Science 2 Ground to Orbiter 2 Frequency Occultation in S and X Bands Groza SAS-2 DFMD, Electromagnetic Waves Generated by Lightning and Other Electric Phenomena Suite of three plasma instruments, 1 Panoramic Energy Mass Analyzer of Ions, 2 Camera O, Electron Spectrometer ELSPEC, Fast Neutrals Analyzer FNA, 3 Energetic Particle Spectrometer. Lander instruments The lander will carry between 100 to 120 kg of instruments, that may include, Mossbauer Spectrometer, APXS Chemical Analyses Package, CAP, Gas Chromatograph and Mass Spectrometer Meteorological Suite Sample Acquisition, Handling, Processing Topic. Potential NASA Collaboration In 2014, Russian scientists asked NASA if the U.S. Space Agency would be interested in collaborating some instruments to the mission. Under this potential collaboration, the study team, Venera D Joint Science Definition Team, JSDT, was established in 2015. Venera D could incorporate some U.S. components, including balloons, a subsatellite for plasma measurements, or a long-lived surface station on the lander. Any potential collaboration is still under discussion, and as of late 2018, the second phase of the science definition activities between NASA and the Russian Space Research Institute Iki, is currently underway. The Venera DJSDT Phase 2 report will be completed by the 31st of January 2019. Potential science instruments NASA could contribute include a Raman spectrometer and an Alpha Proton X-ray spectrometer (APXS). Also, the three types of atmospheric maneuverable platforms under consideration by NASA include, super-pressure balloons, altitude-controlled balloons, the Venus Atmospheric Maneuverable Platform, VAMP, semi-buoyant aircraft, and solar-powered aircraft. The solar-powered Venus Atmosphere Mobile Platform, VAMP, is currently under development by the Northrop Grumman Corp. If included, it would be capable of flying within the cloud layer between 50 to 62 kilometers, and is being developed to operate over the 117 Earth days needed for complete monitoring over one full Venus day. It would carry instruments to acquire observations of the atmospheric structure, circulation, radiation, composition and trace gas species, along with cloud aerosols and the unknown ultraviolet absorbers. Topic. See also Observations and explorations of Venus Unrelated NASA lander proposals Venus in SITU Atmospheric and Geochemical Explorer, Visage Venus in SITU Composition Investigations, VC Venus Origins Explorer, Vox